hello everyone if you are here that means that you are looking for a Pinterest tutorial so today we're gonna go through how to create a pin on Canva and then we're also gonna talk about how to actually put that pin onto Pinterest now this video is gonna be specifically for teachers pay teacher sellers so if you're not a teacher pay teacher seller that's fine everything's still relevant but just know that I'm gonna keep referring to TPG and so we're gonna go through and this is gonna be a straight-up tutorial you'll see how to make a pin and also how to upload it if you want more information about Pinterest then you want to check out the video I posted last week that was all about Pinterest basics for TBT sellers and we go through all of the different things that you need to know before you start posting on Pinterest without further ado let's hop right on in all right so I am here in Canva if you have been around my channel for a while then you know I love Canva for all of the things. I use this for pretty much everything except for product creation. Um, so if you haven't used it before, it's up here, canva.com, and it is free. I will leave a link below. When you get there, you'll see a whole bunch of different things. So up here, they have like tabs of all the different kinds of things that you can do. You can now use them for Instagram stories. I haven't tried that before. I do use them for Instagram posts and for just all sorts of things. Then you'll see your design. So you can see like these are all my things. And then there's like specific templates that you can use. Let's go up here to create a design. And there's all of the different things. I'm going to go to... Pinterest. Now we're just going to do a regular Pinterest pin. So this will not be a video pin. I will have a video about like different ways to do video pins because I do use those actually quite a bit now, but these are just regular pins. So once you get there, you'll see there's like all these different templates that you can try. Even look, Pinterest video pins. Maybe we will try one. Anyway, um, so you can see just all the different things and you can search the templates for whatever. These are things I've used. Um, let's see. Let's see what looks good. I always look for something that has a picture on it because I know that I'm going to have a picture on mine. These are like all video pins. Let's just do like a normal one. Okay. Here's nice and easy. You can see this is a watermark. That means that you have to pay if you want to use this picture, which I don't. I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to come to my uploads. You see, I have many, many, many uploads. I'm um, looking quickly to see if there's something I want to use. I was kind of thinking I wanted to do one for these Christmas coloring sheets. So let me send myself one. If you have an iPhone, I will say my favorite thing in like the entire world is airdrop. <laughs> it has changed my life. Like being able to send videos and pictures from my phone to my computer is just so, so lovely. Here it comes. There we go. All right. Okay. So this is what I have. So I have two videos and then a couple of pictures. It uploads them in this weird format I will say so let's do this nice long one because Pinterest likes long ones I don't know if it's gonna like this format but I guess we shall try oh, it's fine okay so now we have these coloring sheets now I can't see any of these things so I'm gonna move this so I can see it okay so we want nativity because I don't want to, people to be confused with it being Christmas like in the classroom versus actual nativity. So I want nativity coloring sheets. And we'll do that. So that's a really cool font. Actually, I might just use that it's, even though it's not my brand one. So I have just the free version of Canva. If you pay for like the upgrade, then they will allow you to upload fonts first of all. And then they will also allow you to like save your 
custom like brand fonts. I don't have that, but these three are the ones I use most of the time. And then sometimes I use this one down here as well if I just need something different. Ooh, but now it's all capital. So I'm going to switch that. This little thing. There we go. Okay. Now, one thing is that it makes it very small. We want it. I like very large words on my pins. Um, I actually like that. That's kind of cool. Okay. Now, as you saw, you couldn't really see the words. So I'm going to come up here to elements and I'm going to add a little block and we'll just do it navy today because I do like navy and I'm just going to make this as like a little background kind of thing so that you can see it so that I can keep the words white because I actually kind of like the white words and then I'm also going to put another one behind this it will look like that now after I have it up I don't love it the words like this because it's now covering up my picture so we're gonna see about moving them I do like to keep most of the words towards the top so that you can see it easily but we may not do that today or we may just cover it up or mm, mm, okay here we go Let's go back to where I had him because I did like that placement and we're going to do this. Okay, I'm going to change the transparency so you can see through them. That way, the picture's still there. You can see it, but you can also see the words and I think that'll be good. Um, we don't need that. And we might still bump these up a bit to like there so really really simple I make usually two pins for each of my blog posts and when I'm thinking about it I'll make one for my TBT products honestly I don't do it all the time and you can add a lot of stuff so like they have all these photos so like I just used this photo in one in a pin for a Hanukkah lesson that I had and it, you can like search by category um, and then there's like all these little sticker things too so like if you wanted to add something fun you could add like little stars those are actually really cute you know like snowflakes I mean you can add anything that you want to you don't have to obviously but it's just kind of like a if you want something extra, I find these do really well on YouTube videos, by the way. If you are on YouTube, having like just the little graphics make a big difference. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's like jumping out at me. If you see some of them say free, some of them say pro. If they say pro, you have to pay for them. Or if you have the pro account, then you can use that. Those are pretty. Um, but like, here's kind of my rule for graphics. If it doesn't add anything, it's not really worth it to me. So if it was adding something, it looked better then that would be great, but it, it, I don't think it does. So, um, what I am going to do though, is at the bottom, I am going to add my, um, store name so that people know where it's from seems because I want do they have like yeah that's what I was thinking that's what I was thinking just like a little border okay and then do we want blue do we want no that looks weird like a bright blue no I think I just like the navy I think I like this one to be pretty simple now obviously you can't see this so I'm just gonna make it smaller so that it will fit 
There you can. All right, so here is my little pin. I'm gonna download it. For this particular pin, I'm gonna use a UTM code so I can just see how it's done. So you're getting a little mini UTM code tutorial. I'm just adding the link there. I'm gonna put Pinterest and um, nativity pin. We'll say static, generate URL, copy. I have a whole video about UTM code, so if you're like, I have no idea what that was, then you can check there. It's really pretty, pretty simple. So over here, I'm going to click create pin. I'm going to just drag that picture over and then I'm going to add the destination link. Honestly, do most of Pinterest on my phone. And then I'm going to come and look at this to see if this is what I want to do. Um, so I like this first part, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. I really try to get a lot of keywords in that first section, so we're going to try that. Um, you see 239. I think you get 500 characters, so I'm going to add a few more here. So this is a really easy way to search for some keywords is to look up here. Ah, for children's church. We like that. It also has coloring pages in here, so I want to make sure I add in a nativity and coloring pages. So I have Sunday school nativity coloring sheet. So let's make this one coloring pages. That way I'm getting a few different keywords in here. They're not free, so we're not going to add that. And I have teaching and I have Sunday school. Okay. So that's just a really easy way to figure out some keywords. I'm going to copy and paste this into my title because I'm lazy. And then I'm also going to copy and paste this because I'm about to use it with something else. Then uh, down here, you can choose whether you want to publish it right now or publish it later. All right. So I'm going to pin it to a board. I pin all my Bible class stuff to here and all my music stuff to here because it makes it really easy for me to find things later. I can just very easily figure it out. And then from there, I will pin it to everywhere else that I want it to go. So I'm just going to click publish. And then you can come and see your pin or you can click promote. If you are using Pinterest ads, I do not suggest clicking this button. I suggest going into Pinterest and doing it that way. So we're going to see if we can make a quick video pin. I have to say as far as like what has been working, I think I might move those words. They're a little bit in the way. We might put them up at the top. As far as what has been working for my personal Pinterest strategy, I can't talk for anybody else, but Pinterest is definitely like all about the new stuff at the moment. So anytime I post something new, it usually does pretty stinking well at first. I have to say, um, I still use group boards. I know that people are like, group boards are dead. I still find group boards really helpful. This is like a really dark video. I should have edited it. Oh, well. I still use group boards. I still find them super helpful. Um, but new content is really great. And I do use quite a few video pins. I will say that when I post like new things, video pins and static tend to do the same like just as well. But video pins do better long term like they'll do better for longer with that being said i will mention that video pins are kind of hard to click on at the moment so i'll see if i can show you after this so i think i get more click throughs through static pins but i get a lot more visibility through video pins so i'm just using both with things like this so this video i uploaded is literally just me coloring in the coloring sheets and that is just a super super easy way that you can add a video so now i can go and put that on my stories i can make it into a um, instagram real. I can put it on Facebook. I can put it here. Um, I just this morning tried my first ever story pin, so I will let you know how that is going. But there's just a lot that you can do with it, and that video didn't take me any extra time. I just set up my phone as I was 
coloring and I was going to do the coloring anyway because I wanted to do it for the pictures I was taking. So super easy. And here we go. Publish. It does take a second to publish the video pins, but let's go see it. Yeah. So see, it's like being reviewed. So they do watch it. Oh, I get this question a lot. When you pin something to Teachers Pay Teachers, it automatically shows up as a TPT pin because TPT owns that domain. So just a heads up, that does happen and it's fine. So that is how you make and upload a pin and a video pin. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you found this helpful, do hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye.